All right. Hello, India. Uh, I wanted to take the time real quick to discuss a couple of uh, questions that you left uh, after reviewing your video. Um, hopefully, these uh, answers will clar clarify some questions that you had. Uh, and if you have any more questions, again, feel free to reach out after listening to this video. So that first question that I wanted to address was, if I just show up, change out, participate, and try, why is this not enough? And the big reason for that is our goal as PE teachers is it's to teach the benefits of physical education. Um, both the brain benefits, the body benefits, the cardiovascular benefits, heart, but also the benefits of the knowledge that you would get from learning the sport, learning the different tactics and rules uh, from the sports as well. Uh, let's see, that second question, why take tests in P PE? They just throw me off. Uh, not only do tests help you as a student, but they help us as a teacher as well. And what I mean by that is, yes, they help you retain information from the sports that you've learned and that we've played in class, uh, including like tactics and different rules as well and strategies. Um, but they also help us as teachers assess ourselves to see how our teaching is. Uh, and if we need to maybe take a step back and reteach something, or if we can move on to the next unit or to the next uh, step of the current unit. And we see these in formative assessments where maybe they don't count as a grade to summative assessments where, yes, they are counting towards the grade in class. And that's just to help with you retaining info and us to assess ourselves as well as you guys as in a class on um, that the big one the big takeaway there is the com we want you as students to be able to say that you're conf confident and competent in the sports and activities that we are teaching so that third question that i want to wanted to acknowledge is kids who try too hard in pe they think it's the olympics and the big thing there is, first of all, I acknowledge that there are kids like that. Funny to say I was one of those kids in PE uh, when I was in high school and middle school. Uh, and it's not about trying the hardest in PE. That's the biggest takeaway. It's learning a new sport potentially. And like I said, it's going back to what are the benefits of PE? PE. And everyone's going to be different in PE. Everyone's going to take away different benefits. And whether it's being competitive or learning a new sport for the first time and in school, like I learned how to play soccer more. And that was really cool because I had really not known much about soccer. So that fourth uh, topic that I want to address is changing. Why do we need to take off our comfortable clothes uh, to get sweaty? And there's a couple reasons for that. That first one is discipline. Uh, as students and as teachers, we are wanting to teach you discipline and what it means to follow rules as you get older you're going to start having more rules on uh, if we can start that early uh start that process early then you have a better chance of having more students listen and you as a student will have a better chance of listening as well in the future uh that second reason is personal hygiene uh it's still a process for younger students that are learning that and we as teachers are here to do anything we can on uh, school isn't just to learn to be educated but like in terms of school content but also in content that you can take and apply in real life outside of school and outside of education and the third reason is just safety um for example if we are outside playing soccer and a kid is wearing sandals and trips and falls he could break a toe could break his arm uh and the chances are less likely if he's in tennis shoes that he would trip and fall as well as uh we live in colorado so with the cold weather if you're not properly dressed we could start getting into frostbite hypothermia just some of those more serious medical conditions uh let's see that fifth topic that i want to address is any unit we spend all this time learning how to play the game but we don't get to play until the third of the until the third till the last day of the unit and the big one there is PE isn't always about playing games we have to learn 
to play the sport before we can play it. And that consists of learning rules, tactics, different positions in the sport as well. And like, for example, we can't just, I can't just go out and play football if I don't know what a quarterback is. And if I don't know what a wide receiver is, uh, how are we going to go out and play the game the correct way? And with that, it's, it's exploring different options in order to maintain that healthy lifestyle that we're trying to teach you. And I mean, hopefully our, our end goal in PE is to find something that every student will like. And I acknowledge that not every student will like every activity. So our job as PE teachers is to hopefully by the end of the semester, end of the year, each student will find something that they enjoy. And that's the end goal is to stay physically active in something that you enjoy. So that's the sixth topic that I want to address. Most PE teachers are out of shape and they can't do what they're asking us to do. Uh, teachers are just trying to get you to lose weight and being and be active and it's not working. Uh, the big thing there that I want to address is bodies are changing with age and it's scientific. There's a science aspect based behind that and bodies are changing in age or with age there is metabolism uh, issues in metabolism bodies don't really digest food as much or as quickly when we get older and flexibility could also become an issue as we start getting older and bones are starting to get a little more brittle and older and yeah there are a bunch of other different reasons hearts can start to become not as healthy as well so that's the big topic there that's the big takeaway there and that's seventh and last one is how does learning to play ultimate frisbee benefit me and i'll say this ultimate frisbee specifically may not benefit you the sport but for me sports being involved in sports helped me learn more take get more takeaways to apply into the real world for example after i graduated high school i went into my emt courses and i became an emt and for example we'll take ultimate frisbee since that's what you asked in ultimate frisbee we can work on communication as well as relying on teammates in order to get the job done which is winning by passing the frisbee to our teammates comparing that to emt where i may have to rely on my emt partner or my paramedic partner to assist me in helping a sick patient that i may not be able to take care of completely on my own uh, there are multiple jobs when a patient gets sick that we have to do um, and I can't do all those jobs alone, so I have to work on relying on teammate or on coworkers and communicating with coworkers as well. And that's the same thing as in sports is relying on teammates and being able to communicate with those teammates. So, India, I hope this cleared some things up for you. Like I said, feel free to come ask me any more questions if you have them after watching this video. Um, I hope you see PE in a different light after this. Thank you.